what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Chicago man was shot after he summoned his enemies to meet him at a gas station so that they could settle their differences. The man got on Instagram live and got all the way live. He gave them an ultimatum. Come on, meet me, pull up, pull up. I dare you, pull up, pull up. Please pull up, pull up. Well, they did pull up and they shot him in his stomach. Luckily, he survived. He was able to drive himself to the hospital and apparently, uh, well, at least the reports say that he is in stable condition. Let this be a warning, family. Sometimes you got to be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. I've been seeing way too many videos of people challenging their enemies to pull up, pull up. And I've seen a number of the people who say pull up get killed. See, everybody ain't playing. I don't understand how someone could even say something like that and not be ready. If you say pull up, you got to make sure you got the ups. You can't be saying pull up, then get gunned down. When you say pull up, you got to have the ups. You got to make sure that you come out on top. But let's back this thing up for a moment. Getting on social media, telling your enemies to pull up. You've already put yourself in a compromising position should it go to court. I'm not even talking about the street stuff where you might end up getting yourself ambushed and killed, but just on a street level, I mean, on, on the court level. As far as the courts is concerned, you went on social media and you instigated. You are the one who squeezed the trigger on the activities that led to the shooting. So whether you end up on top and you gun somebody down or whether you end up getting gunned down. Law enforcement and the judicial system is not going to look too favorable towards you. You put yourself in a compromising position either way. I know way too many people who have met their demise challenging folks to pull up. Come on with it. If it's going down, let's get it over with. Now, listen, if you're ready to die and it don't matter, knock yourself out. If you're ready to go to jail for a gang of years and it don't matter, knock yourself out, man. You know, everybody got to live their own life and everybody have to do what they think is good for them. But if you have ideas of being free, like for a long time, if you have ideas of living a long life, telling your enemy to pull up on social media is not conducive to either of those outcomes. It just doesn't make sense. Dude is the latest to realize that. How many times do we have to see stuff like this? I mean, why can't people just learn from the mistakes of others? Just sometimes. I know sometimes we got to learn from our own mistakes. I get that. I get it. I get it. But can't sometimes you learn from other people's mistakes? Like if somebody stick their hand in to fire and, and they do like this, oh, shit, it burnt. Why would you stick your hand into that same fire? Like, why not just learn from their experience that if you play with fire, 
you might get burned. Oh, man. Anyway, fam, I was going to let y'all see it, but I can't help myself. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.